Dr. Davis is in charge of the African American Dance Ensemble. We just saw them here at Carolina Theater in Durham. First of all, I'm going to greet okay. uh, your audience because in my tradition, you don't come into a person's home without greeting. So we are coming into your home and we extend greetings and we extend hopes that you will have lots of prosperity and that you will forever be surrounded with peace. Three of us formed a trio and we're still in Washington. We call ourselves the La Dalemo Trio. La to give it the exotic flavor. And then we took the first two letters of our last name, oh. D.A. Davis, L.E. Lewis, and M.O. for Ernestine Moss, and the La Delemo Trio. Oh, we were good. <laughs> oh, we were excellent. We were all over Washington, D.C., performing here, performing there. Coast of the town. Mm -hmm. Coast of the town. And on the night of the March on Washington, we were performing at the Crow's Toe which was then at 10th and K. After the program, Ula Tunje, God rest his soul, he recently passed, was there celebrating with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But Tunje decided to come to see us perform. Whoa. And he saw us, he stayed for two shows. And at the end of the second show, he told all three of us we were hired. We came to New York. Whoa. We were, um, we, so far as he was concerned, we had passed the audition. I was in seventh heaven, I eighth bet. heaven, ninth heaven, because yeah. Ola Tunji was, was the top. Yeah, the top. He set the standard. And for, right, and for him to say, and his dancers and musicians were with him, for them to say that we were good enough to join them on stage. Awesome. Uh, American Dance Magazine, because you oh, wrote, well, you won the an dance award, magazine, like, yeah, right. like last night. Yeah, I, the I, dance I, mag. Let's see. Yeah, you have it. Oh, there we oh, go. Look at here that. Here we go. Okay, you can check out the dance inscription. Magazine. It says Dance Magazine 2004, Chuck, Chuck Davis. Davis. Absolutely. And awesome. I'm in very good company with Chita Rivera, you know, the right. Broadway star. Um, Jose Carinda, the from the, class, the world of classical ballet. And from modern arts and education, Anna Halperin. All fantastic artists. And Dance Magazine, you know, is the leading magazine for dance uh, in the entire world. Again, they set the standard. I mean, they, they set it and reported. That's right. They set it and reported. And to receive this award means that you have been recognized by your peers. Dance is the mother, number one, is the mother of all of the arts. And through it, we recognize the strength that comes from the earth. Right here, you're on this concrete. These, even though this is plastic, the trees, everything, the, the, the clothing you have on the thread, everything came directly from the earth. From the earth comes all things. So we celebrate the earth. And each ethnic group is celebrated in a different way. And what dance affords us is the opportunity to, to learn from different cultures. Once we learn, we're able to respect, um, become aware. And once we become aware, we're able to respect. Thus, we are able to walk in peace with others. And that's why I'm involved in dance, because it allows me the opportunity to celebrate the all-merciful creator, to celebrate those who made the transition to the ancestral grounds, to celebrate the elders, to celebrate my peers, those who are here, to celebrate the yet unborn. And all of this in keeping with the truth that dance is light and light is dance. And it also helps me to recognize the fact that the only time I can look down on a person is when I'm helping them up. And Good that's point. what I would like to end this particular session with. Don't look down on anyone unless you're helping them up. And give thanks for your blessings, seen and unseen.